The baby boomer generation. The perception is one of health-obsessed workout fanatics who watch what they eat and look 10 years younger than their age. Yet, as the first wave of boomers edges toward retirement, a growing body of evidence suggests that they may be the first generation to enter their golden years in worse health than their parents. Baby boomers are very healthy people in general. They tend to be healthy because they want to eat correctly, but they also overdo some of their exercise. With overdoing their exercise, they may develop aches and pains in their joints. And with good intention, they're trying to stay healthy by exercising. Along with that, they can develop a lot of aches and pains in various joints of their body. One ailment in particular that boomers develop is hip pain from a developmental problem which is aggravated by excessive exercise and can cause arthritis at an earlier age. FAI is femoroacetabular impingement. The way it presents is in individuals who tell you they have groin pain. They may have had a sprain in the past in their hip and thought it was just a hip groin sprain, but it never goes away and they continue to have pain. FAI is associated with cartilage damage, labral tears, early hip arthritis, hyperlaxity, sports hernias, and low back pain. FAI is common in high-level athletes, but also occurs in active individuals. The non-surgical treatment for FAI is simple. It's just avoidance of pain that is caused by FAI. So if you have pain sitting, tilt the seat back so that you're not flexing the hip as much. If you're working in a car, tilt the car seat back so you're not flexing so much, causing the impingement. So it's basically avoidance of what causes the impingement of the hip. When lifestyle changes and other treatments fail to eliminate the pain, surgery may be necessary. But a minimally invasive hip arthroscopy has been an effective treatment, bringing relief to a variety of patients. Hip arthroscopy, like knee arthroscopy, is an operation which is minimally invasive, typically outpatient, meaning the patient goes home the same day, where we put a very small telescope inside the joint. Along with putting a small telescope in the joint, we put small instruments in the joint so that we can see in the joint and we can operate in the joint. Dr. Thomas Sampson is a board-certified orthopedic surgeon. In private practice in San Francisco since 1982, Dr. Sampson is an internationally recognized expert in hip arthroscopy. An innovative pioneer, he is credited with significant advances in arthroscopic surgery. Dr. Sampson considers hip arthroscopy to be a conservative surgical approach to reduce or cure hip pain. The ideal candidate for hip arthroscopy is an individual with ongoing hip pain that hasn't been resolved, who's usually active and healthy, and does not have arthritis in their hip. My condition prior to surgery was one of a, a pinching or a burning pain uh, near my hip, also kind of in between my hip and my groin. So it affected me when I was sitting for any long periods of time, which included my work. Um, affected me driving any long periods of time. Uh, and primarily as a recreational activity, I'm a cyclist, and so, as you can imagine, uh, that cycling motion was affected as well. Wim is a gentleman in his late 30s who is an avid cyclist. He also sits all day at work. He developed left groin pain, which turned out to be FAI. Well, prior to surgery, uh, the pain in my hip was pretty intense when I made certain movements, and especially getting in and out of the car, bringing my leg inside the car, um, as a driver, you have to pull that left leg in, and it was just really intense, and sometimes I actually had to pick my leg up and put it in the car. Deborah is a typical baby boomer. She's in her late 50s, and she's an avid martial artist. She developed severe left groin pain and came to me, and we diagnosed FAI. Arthroscopy allows for minimal scarring, faster recovery, and helps to diagnose and treat early causes of arthritis, in many cases preventing it altogether. In young, active individuals, hip arthroscopy can provide an alternative to hip replacement. Most importantly, hip arthroscopy is a low-risk procedure. I had my hip surgery about 20 months ago. It was July, summertime. Um, recovery time, I felt, was probably 90% in the first four months and 100% within a six-month time frame. Um, currently, no problem sitting, no problem driving. I'm back to active cycling, so I'm very happy with it. I had surgery nine months ago, and I'm doing wonderfully. All the pain is gone. The flexibility has returned. It took a lot of work and rehab, but obviously. Um, 
it feels wonderful. My quality of life is back to normal. Um, I'm back to doing martial arts and life's great. Dr. Sampson is a master instructor for the Arthroscopy Association of North America, as well as medical director of the Total Joint Center at St. Francis Memorial Hospital, San Francisco. Most importantly, Dr. Sampson strives for personal and compassionate care for all his patients. At post Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we treat conditions that cause hip pain. We treat conditions such as arthritis or non-arthritic pain, such as FAI. The treatment is to use techniques such as arthroscopic surgery or total joint replacement to cure and relieve the hip pain. For more information, contact the offices of Dr. Thomas Sampson or visit poststreetortho.com.